Hi, how's it going everybody? Uh, just me, Emma here. I'm just popping in to run through quickly what will be in the shop update tomorrow evening. Um, so I'll not spend too long and everything, but I'll just show you the colour of the yarn. Um, I'll tell you about the base and yeah, I'll not spend too long. So here we go. This is the limited edition base. Um, it is 90% approximately blue textile, 10% Cheviot lamb's wool from the Macro Honey area in the Glens of Antrim in Northern Ireland. It was spun in wheels, it's wool and spun, and this is its natural colour, so it hasn't been dyed. I'm gonna have like quite a lot of this in the next shop update. Um, it has an amazing blue hue to it, from the blue textile, obviously. And um, I would say that this yarn is marginally softer than the Jacobs. Um, but probably a bit more prickly than something like Jameson and Smith um, jumper weight Shetland wool. So that gives you an idea of what it's like. Um, there's 408 metres per 100 grams, which is a four ply fingering weight. And I'm pretty excited about this. It's such, the colour of it's so nice. Sorry about the traffic no noise, if you can hear that. Um, next up, I will have two mini skein sets. I will have this one, first of all, which is the bouquet mini skein set. This is all my natural sock base, which is a high twist um, sock base without any nylon. Um, it's made of 100% um, British wool. So it's 50% um, blue face lester, 50% TV. It's a four ply weight and it's 400 meters per 100 grams. And there are six different colors or six different 20 gram mini schemes, schemes if I could talk today, in the set. So there we go. The next mini skein set is the Anticipation of Spring mini skein set. Same base, same number of mini skeins, but more pastel-y colours. And sort of lightly, I guess you could call it kind of speckled, but not really. So I think they look really good together as well. They're quite happy springy colours. So that's these. I'll have one sock set just. Um, this is the Tidal sock set. It's kind of going for like a beachy colour with these. I thought it was quite, yeah. Sorry about all the traffic noise. All the next um, colours are on my natural sock base, so I'm just going to run through those. So busy out there, I don't know what's happening. Um, first of all, we have Jasmine. This is a great colour for um pairing with the likes of the mini skein sets because it's a bit of a, a neutral color and it goes with pretty much everything um it's kind of in in a cool tone whitey gray purple i would say it's not quite purple but it's on the purple kind of spectrum this is how it looks with oyster which is a slightly more purpley version but of, they're kind of of the same colour family so this is Oyster 1. Um, then we have some blues coming. This one is Oceanic Light and this is Oceanic Dark so I have a bit of indigo dyed stuff and just be aware as well um, anything that's dyed with indigo basically anything that's blue will crock off a bit on your hands but there's a bit on my website about that so you can check that out there if you want more information. So have these two. Um, I also have these two. A lot of like light and dark versions of like the same colour. So this is daffodil and this is mustard. Again, nice springy, springy theme. And again, doing the same thing. This one is just a light pink one of a kind. And this one is the salmon leap one of a kind. There's actually, <laughs> I named this one after a restaurant, I don't even know if it still exists, that is near where I live. Uh, and it's called the Salmon Leap. It's just beside the river. So yeah, I thought that was quite nice. And next I have two new colours that I'm really proud of. Uh, it's on the orange, um, orange colour family, I guess. 
This one here is called Whiskey. It is a slightly browner version of this one. This one is called Inglenook. It's a more punchy orange, I guess. But this one is probably the same value, but it's slightly browner in tone. So you can kind of see what those look like there. I don't have loads of these in this next update, but I it's a colour that I'm going to be carrying on Megan because I really like it. It does require me to save up quite a bit of onion skin, so that's why I don't have loads of it all the time. But I will definitely be Megan it again. So, what colours go nice together? Well, for me, if I was Megan a gradient, I would probably do something like... Oh, there's so many options. These ones are amazing. Like, this would be the best shawl. So, daffodil, mustard, ingle nook, the salmon leap, and light pink. Look at that together. So nice. Or, you could do, like, jasmine, oyster, oceanic light, oceanic dark. And if you wanted to, you could totally pop a wee something like this on the end would look nice <laughs> so yeah loads of options and with this mini skein set really any of the colors that i showed you there from the main color skeins would really work with this um with this one as well i think you probably want to go for maybe like oyster or jasmine i would say with this would look nice um, or even maybe like a light blue would be nice potentially, maybe not. Ah, light pink, that's the one to go with it. So if you have any questions you can put them in the comments below and I hope this was helpful and hopefully I'll see you at the shop update. Thanks for watching!